one of the things that's really interesting about this piece of work is that it does really relate to um, subscription business models. And now, people have historically think, thought about things like magazines on subscription, but these days people get all sorts of things on subscription. So they might sign up to get a veg box delivered at home, for example, or to a gym membership, or some people will get razors delivered at home. And those, so the type of work that we did here is relevant for all those types of people uh, and businesses. The Telegraph's been around for quite, quite a while, and um, over the years, the various different bits of data that ultimately make up our understanding of our customers uh, is, is, is spread across the organisation. You know, it's a fairly common challenge, but one of the big things that we r really needed to fix was how we, we bring all of that data together uh, so that we can join it and understand clearly the life cycle of a customer across the Telegraph. At the time, we couldn't join those data sets up, and the, the basic business case with um, uh, for this Red Olive work um, was that we would do that and that it would deliver us upside both in acquisitions and in terms of retention. We uh, contracted Red Olive to come in and do a, a sort of deep dive discovery process. They would, uh, you know, with, with their own understanding of best practice, uh, get, get do a gap analysis and really validate where those gaps were, but also you know, work with our stakeholders to start to build a value case for actually if we were able to address some of these issues, what could we, what could we do? An example of a, of a challenge that we faced, when, when customers moved from one product to another, uh, we then, when they moved to the new product, we classified them as a completely new acquisition, which obviously when you're trying to understand how people are churning, uh, is, is very difficult. It has enabled us to do exactly what we wanted to do in the first place and join up our behavioural data with our kind of contractual and transactional data. Um, it's enabled us to build predictive models for uh, churn of subscribers, which we are using day in, day out to dynamically um, change experiences for people and target people with different offers to help them to, uh, to make sure that they stay as subscribers. Um, and it is also helping to inform uh, the predictive work that we're doing with our registered users around who we think is most likely to become a subscriber and what offer we should give to them. They've been very embedded in the organisation for a long time um, and they really uh, have put the effort in, particularly at their senior uh, partner level to come in, work with um, people across the organisation, understand what the high level challenges are so that they can make sure that they support the success of these types of projects. This, this project ended uh, a little while ago but they've really maintained that after this project has finished to make sure that you know, they're, they're fully across uh, what the state of play is today. Our subscriptions business has been in um, like very healthy double digit um, volume and revenue growth over the last two or three years and since the delivery of the um, project from Red Olive I would say that that's accelerated considerably specifically in the digital space where we are making best use of, um, of the, 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 the mapping of the behavioural data against our contractual data. A lot of what was involved is uh, data enrichment um, so here we looked at uh, combining transactional data with people's behavioural data. But often we also want to think about people's demographics in order to really understand them properly. So what we like to be able to do is understand where someone lives, uh, maybe things about their, uh, their age, their interests, their income, to really help us build things like predictive models. So how people are likely to respond to offers that lots of different companies uh, put to them. And again, that applies in lots of different situations.